just like formation of any primary feature is natural deformation is also natural without which this beautiful physiography of earth is not possible any primary object upon subjected to a stress field changes its form shape or rotate or maybe just move a little all of this is considered as deformation so basically any change in the body's natural order will give it a title of deformed body the deformation such as rotation or translations are called rigid body deformation as the body is held together or you can say the particles have not changed their position with respect to an internal frame of reference so a non rigid body deformation would be the one in which body changes its shape or size however a body may also deform as a combination of these two there is one more classification of deformation homogeneous and heterogeneous deformation in homogeneous deformation parallel lines remain parallel and straight lines remain straight after deformation and in heterogeneous deformation these two conditions are not satisfied although heterogeneous deformation at a different scale can be considered as homogeneous deformation thus the whole body which has undergone heterogeneous deformation could be expressed as a sum of homogeneous deformation in a professional level though we can't just say the body has deformed or not or what type of deformation it has undergone we have to quantify so let's learn how to do that by the way we'll only bother about non rigid deformation because this has wide applications and is more complicated than the other one imagine a one dimensional body upon applying a stress field it changes its dimensions from a length l not it now becomes l so the change in length would be the difference of these two but let's say you have two different bodies of length 100 meter and 10 meter in different stress regimes so the 100 meter body now becomes 105 meter and the 10 meter body becomes 11 meter so if you compare the absolute values of change it certainly would appear that the body a has undergone more deformation but that is entirely wrong since with respect to their original length body b has actually undergone more deformation so comparing absolute values would create wrong interpretation that's why we measure this change with respect to their original length and this parameter is called elongation it precisely tells us that if the original length of body is equivalent to one unit its new length would become 1 plus the elongation and this new length equivalent is called stretch of the body so if you multiply stretch with the original length you will get the new length of the body but what happens in 2d if stress acts along let's say x and y you can just find the stretch along both the direction and now a new length along x say x dash becomes s1 times x and along y y prime becomes h2 times y this can also be written in a matrix form for 3d you just add zx is there and this is called deformation matrix now we can quantify deformation if the changes have taken place along the orthogonal axis that is x y or g otherwise called coaxial strain An ideal example for this would be pure shear where the amount of compression along one axis is compensated by extension along another. Now we have to quantify for deformation due to shear stress. An ideal example for this is simple shear in which stress acts along the plane and the stress is non-coaxial. Upon such a deformation, two set of lines that were originally perpendicular will now change their orientation. But by how much? This is measured by a parameter called angular shear. Let's say there are two orthogonal lines A and B. So the angular shear along A would be how much B has rotated from its original position. If it is clockwise then phi is positive and negative for counterclockwise. And shear strain is expressed as tangent of angular shear. So for a simple shear our deformation matrix would look something like this. Congratulations. You just added one more tally mark to your knowledge board. You want to keep adding them? Subscribe to Infitally and be the first to learn.